day something or another. I don't even remember. Is it 154? This is the first interesting thing we see on the trail. I haven't seen a single salamander on this trail. AT was covered in them bright orange ones, but this guy's way bigger than those. I'm all prehistoric. At least he's getting off the trail. I didn't want to move him. He's kind of slimy. Yeah, I would have shown him off the trail. This is my water source. It's still clear. I assume it's flowing. At least it rained last night. Or maybe that's a hindrance. It didn't really rain, it sprinkled. Entered the burn section. We could see it before we left, but you know, we were walking through all that niceties. I mean, at least there's flowers, but who? It's devastation. I don't think this is smoke today. This is just fog. It didn't really rain last night, it just kind of drizzled all night long. So, I mean, like my tarp got wet and the ground's a little moist, but. You know, I don't think that counts as a rain, so I'm still saying I got six left. We have heard rumor today that in Washington people are dropping out, which would be rare because you only have a few hundred miles left because the smoke is so bad. I don't know if it's rumor, hearsay, or fact. I'm going with rumor. Until I know somebody that's dropping out. I mean, I'll hear stuff through the grapevine. But even then, I gotta go see it for myself. And if it's just smoke, I'll just wear a face mask or something. I can't see getting 300 miles away and quitting. After the burn section, it's just been miles of nice, mellow forest. Trail super smooth. No birds to sing. Don't know why. I keep expecting a rainstorm. There's dark clouds all around us, but none above us. But it's definitely not warm yet. Tolerable, though. Still wearing layers. But everybody we see isn't wearing layers. So, you know, I'm from Phoenix. I'm a pussy when it comes to that. About time for a break. Hoping that this water source up here is nice, because I've been walking for a while. Probably got damn near 10 miles under our belt or so at this point. Ready to just sit on my ass for a few minutes. Smells so good out here. The smell of wet pine. Haven't had enough of that on this trail. Rain really brings out the smells. The day's still chilly. And we're well into it. We're like a dozen miles in or so. Weather is on my mind. Normally not concerned with it, so it's a change of pace. I'm gonna have to pretend that every night it's gonna rain and set up my rain flight because I really sucked at it last night. I spent a half hour, 45 minutes setting that thing up. So if I had to do it in a rainstorm, everything's gonna get wet. So I need to practice at that if I were smart. Doesn't mean I'm necessarily gonna do it. I always have good intentions, but I get lazy near the end. Today I'm trying to make it another Probably a dozen or so miles from where I'm at now. Uh, there's the Little Crater Lake, right off trail. Everybody says it's really cool. You can look down into it. You can swim in if you want. But I hear the water's like 35, 40 degrees. Not my thing. But that's where I want to camp tonight. Rarely do I have goals, but then I got a goal for the day. Should be flat after this last hill too, so easy peasy, man. I'm uh, pretty much certain this is the most dense forest I've seen. It's actually little leaved trees. Huh, I guess that was enough of that, huh? Help us locate gray wolves. Ooh. Could there be wolves in the area? 
120 pounds. That's a big dog. That's a big dog. I remember has those footprints. Finally came across somewhere with service. Very limited, but I was able to release a video. I'm way behind on that. Technically, two days behind, so if I have service in another few hours, I'll release another one. But it's been four days since I've had service. I mean, it says there's a little bar, but that doesn't mean anything because it won't do anything. What's the point of having it if it won't do anything? It's just there to tease you. Make you walk around with your phone on, hoping it turns into two bars. But it doesn't. Should be almost at the top of this hill. Keeps getting dark and then light. It's kind of cool with the clouds. Because when the sun is out, it turns humid instantly. Right now, it's quite nice. Good hiking weather, at least. Need new shoes. I'm at the point where, because you don't want to trade around shoes too often. You find something that works, you stick with it. But I'm at the point where they're, they're going bad, so. I'm gonna keep my eye out Cascade Locks. It's my last town in Oregon. Um, but if I can't find any free ones, I think I'll break down and buy some. They got outfitters there. I want good shoes for the Cascades because I don't really know what to expect. I'm expecting big mountains and really cold and lots of rocks. Something like the Sierra, but probably less beautiful. But I'm hoping it's as beautiful. Hoping to be tested again. You know, so, you know, push me trail. Make me cry. Make me regret asking you to make me cry. Well, that's how adventure happens, man. You know, when everything sucks and all that, that's the good part of the story, really. Just wait till later. When you're doing it, yeah, it totally sucks. But later on, so worth it. We're actually right when you get done with the dangerous part. I'm hoping for something like that again, though. You know, I, I cried a little bit this year. Like, a tear really ran out. I know I didn't really capture it on video, but tears are small. I'm probably just sucked in by my skin because they never happen. My skin is like, what is that? A tear, a sweet, sweet tear. So yeah, break me. You know, that's kind of what I want. Hoping for a snowstorm. Snowstorms are cool. Being cold sucks, but snowstorms are interesting, man. It's the whole dynamics of it. Don't really want to deal with freezing rain, but I'm assuming it'll happen. But I only have a few hundred miles left. What, five, six hundred miles of this trail? Doubt you can break me at the end. Go ahead and try. I'm rather digging northern Oregon. Southern part, you know, wasn't all that great. I mean, the lava rocks were cool and all that stuff, but... You know, the forests were ugly. Lots of smoke in the air. I mean, that's not Oregon's fault. But, you know, I haven't seen a forest this lush in quite a while. Normally there's that one kind of tree growing in them, and then a bunch of felled trees between them. Nice change of pace. But that's probably a pretty good signal there's going to be a lot more water falling on us, huh? <clears throat> Gotta get prepared for that. Yeah, I think I'll be doing a tent on the CET. See if I can get some sucker to sponsor me, or at least, you know, give me a tent, throw it on some Instagram photos for him, stuff like that, you know. I'm not real popular, but I'm tiny a bit popular. 2,000 people have clicked the button, you know, that means something, I guess. Not a whole lot, but it still means something. Yeah, because I don't have to worry about rain flies and stuff out there. I don't even think I'd know how to set that thing up in the wind. So I'm going to do my best to get proficient at it. I'd say I'm going to stop early and do it, but the place I want to go is still nine miles or so away. <clears throat> then I'm probably going to get there too late to enjoy it. But, you know, I'll take it for what it is. It's not like I was going to jump in that thing anyway. It's cold as water. That ain't happening. But I just want to look down into it. Okay, so the best buffet on the trail, according to Gut Hooks, anyway. They have a breakfast buffet and a lunch buffet. Breakfast buffet. Did you hear that? Breakfast buffet. I, I don't think I've been to one of those yet on the trail. 
Um, it's only 27 miles away, so I'm just going to walk through the night and get there in the morning. No, no, I'm kidding. Um, I'm just going to do an easy day tomorrow. Yeah, so today's going to be mid-20s. Tomorrow, do that or less. And then stroll in with a nice hunger. Probably less, so I stroll in with a nice hunger so I can fuck up that breakfast buffet. Fuck it up. I right, saw, so, yeah. And breakfast being my driving force, I am rather excited for that. Plus, I kind of have to do it. Because I don't have a whole lot of food by my standards. I probably have too much by everybody else's. But I like to have food, man. Variety of it. I don't like to be forced to eat just one thing. Sure, I eat the same things over and over. But I have a variety of the same things I eat over and over. But I need that buffet to tide me over until I get to Cascade Locks. Because... That's still another few days beyond this place. And there I can pig out yet again. And then that place I know has great service because I was just there for trail days. So I can upload some things, maybe fix some problems that I've had on YouTube, maybe. But I'm not overly, I'm, I'm not gonna be overly concerned with those. Because I'm so far behind that I'll probably be back in the real world by the time I need to fix those to release them. So, no stress, man, no stress. I'll still stress over it. YouTube totally stresses me out. I just want to do it right, man, you know? But, uh, not technolo technologically savvy, so these kind of things happen. One of these days, I'll have my own editors and cameramans and stuff like that. My own drone following me around. What? Yeah? A little mini drone follow? The crawler drone? Yeah? No, I have no, no urge to get a drone. None. So I'm thinking I'm not going to make it to that, um mini crater lake thing tonight because I stopped that and push it to push it and so I'd get there and I wouldn't really enjoy it so I'm gonna try sleeping in again I slept in today until uh, like four o'clock or so that's pretty nice but yeah there's the pitter patter of sprinkles on my my tent so gave me an excuse plus you know I'm, I'm practicing cooking inside of it and all that I'm gonna try to set it up a little different tonight Get it lower to the ground, block the wind a little more. You know, about time I experimented with this thing. I've been carrying around for over 2,000 miles and just using it as a neck pillow. So it's just a huge tarp. Huge. It doesn't weigh anything, but it's huge. And the slightest breeze sets it a flying. But that's what practice is all about. So I'm planning on maybe cutting it a little short tonight. I'm going to look. There's a bunch of campsites up the way. I'm just going to look and see if any appeal to me. Take a, kind of an easy day tomorrow. Like, you know, to low 20s. And then it's uphill into that place where the breakfast is. Breakfast buffet. It's a really expensive one, though. It's 18 bucks, man. So I got to go in there hungry to make it worth it. So luckily it's uphill, so I have to work a little harder. Maybe I'll put some rocks in my pack to, you know, build up an appetite. No, that's not going to happen. But it would be nice to be sitting around fat and happy. Maybe do a, you know, a little coma nap in their front yard. I do so enjoy that. Hopefully it's a sunny day. I mean, it's gotten beautiful. Look at them blue skies. Yeah. I don't think there's any more rain happening. Not today or tomorrow. It seems too damn nice. But I got service earlier, but I forgot to check the weather again. I'm just not in the habit. Oh, I'll deal with it as it comes. We're entering Mount Hood National Forest. Straight out the hood. I know nothing about Mount Hood. I've heard the name before, but I know nothing about it. You can just tell this forest gets way more moisture. You know, the trees that are falling are rotting like they're supposed to. There's actually little trees growing out of the dead tree. Yeah, there's moss on everything. The other ones, those trees are gonna sit there forever, man. They never gonna rot. These ones got shit growing all over them, well, except for the fresh ones. But you can just see like little ripples in the moss sometimes where you know a tree once was. Ooh, now that sign's fancy. Look how the letters are raised. See, at night when I'm looking at the signs, because all the words are generally carved in, I have to hit it from angles, because when you're hitting it with light straight on, there's no shadow, so you can't actually read them. It's all washed out. That would probably be pretty nice at night. I mean, I make do and all, but, yeah, I wouldn't mind trying that one out. But that takes a lot of effort. 
can't see, but there'll be a whole lot of those in here. Plus, I'm going to sleep in tomorrow. You know, I don't have to do big miles or anything, so I might as well sleep in a little bit. Ooh, all their signs are in here carved. That one is. So is that one with raised letters. I mean, that one's not attached to the base anymore. That long rotted way. Oh, that's where it used to be. It still points the way. Man, I'm getting tired. I hit a wall back there. I'm gonna look for a campsite soon. Well, this is the nicest water supply all day. Sweet. I haven't seen one this green and mossy in forever. Oh, string of ponies. <laughs> Last but not least. Oh. <laughs> Totally should have waited for this water coming out right from under this tree. Boom. Look magic. Ta-da. Oh, we've come across a nice little lake. Not quite the one I'm headed to. I'm going to try to eke it out to um, the Crater Lake thingy. Or the mini Crater Lake. It's only like three and a half, four miles from here. Because I'm thinking, why waste time with that breakfast buffet? Because then I have to do slower days. I might as well do normal days, get there for dinner, mess that up, and keep on going. So that's my new plan. Breakfast buffet would have been nice, but I'll be there in time for dinner, more than likely. We see a green bag on the side of the trail. What could it be? What could it be? Poke it with a stick. Oh, there's an... Oh. It's somebody's stuff. Read it. Oh, I'm gonna read it. Oh. <clears throat> I think they put the bright colors in because they wanted to be. I was diligent two nights in a row. Purple party palace is up. Hammock swinging up in there. Got me a lake right here. Stopped a little bit short of that meteor thing. I'm about 20 miles away from the lodge. Where? More than likely, I'm going to go for a dinner buffet. But we'll see how tomorrow goes. It's only 20 miles away, but I hear it's a lot of uphill and beach sand. Not a good combination. But when there's food waiting on the other side, what can't you do? So I got my tarp pretty low to the ground, but I think I can do lower. But I can reach all my stuff so I can make coffee in the morning. I'm going to try to do breakfast in bed. And I'm just going to kick it in my hammock and sip on coffee and eat oats. But I'm thinking I can get a little lower to block the wind completely because I still have, you know, there's wind going on. I won't be able to make breakfast in bed, so just hoping for a mellow morning. <laughs> 